All right, what's going on guys? Luis here bringing you guys back with a car video, you know? I'm gonna show you guys really quick how to change the inner wheel fenders because I did the, the bumper conversion box. I was riding without a bumper for a whole day, so obviously my, my inner fenders, well, they were going against the wheel and they burned off. Look, I'll, I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Cause I tried looking it up on YouTube, uh, several videos, but I only found one. I'm gonna show you guys how to do them exactly today. Don't mind the car is pretty dirty. Obviously I already showed you guys you guys already seen that video where I swapped the bumper, but this is what I'm talking about. So obviously we got the inner, the inner fender where the wheel goes. And obviously look, I don't know if you guys could actually see it good on camera, but like half of this, it's all torn up because I, I was driving with no bumper. Then obviously it was, this was going against the wheel and it fucked it up. Look, as you guys can see for both sides, look, driver and passengers you guys can see look so i had to order new ones and well i just ordered new ones and i also got some clips and pins because some of them broke when i was taking them off but i'll show you guys exactly what to do and how to fix it so first things first you gotta get your jack you gotta jack up the car and take off the the wheels loosening up the lug nuts jack up the car and finish taking off the the wheels it makes everything so much easier and i'll show you guys the process so i took off i already took off one of the wheels I don't know why, because every single time I do take off the lug nut, there's always one lug nut that's always like breaking. On this side, I was I was taking them off, right? Then the very last one, it was hard. It's always one. Even when I was doing the the, the bumper swap, always one of them, and it was a, I think the same side. I think it was the same side too, the driver's side. It just like it chipped, you know. So I called one of my homies to bring me one of them. So he's gonna bring me one of them, but yeah, but. You see these wheels? They're just covers. Fuck that. Tomorrow, like tomorrow, I'm gonna I'm get some wheels, but that's gonna be a different video. So guys, do stay tuned. See what wheels I'm getting and tires I'm getting it. Just wait on the video, guys. Just wait on that, because these have to go. But yeah, and then this is what happened, look. Every single time, whenever I do work on the car, it's always one of them. As you guys can see, look, look. You see, my whole thing is ripped and everything, so that's why I bought new ones. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take up all of them. I ordered the whole thing. So I'm gonna switch out the, all, all of them. I'm gonna show you guys the process how to do it. And you see, look, here's all my lights, and that's why the same reason. Because whenever it does snow, I don't want nothing to happen to these lights, or when it rains. So I'm gonna just cover it up. So yeah, basically, whenever, whenever you take off the wheel, just take off every single little pin, like these, all the way around, all the way around these little pins. There's some of the pins inside right here too. So take off every single one of them. That's if you guys are gonna change the whole thing or you guys just get half of it. I did the whole thing brand new, but just take off every single one of them, every single one of them and yeah, let's keep on with the video. All right, so whenever you guys do take it off, it should look like this. Sorry about the light, but that was the sun. Here are all these little clips. I broke a few, but I bought I bought like at least like 40 of them ahead of hand. So just in case I did break them. So I have extra ones, so don't even trip. So you guys could easily just take these off. They look like these. Yeah. You take them off with the flathead screwdriver, just pull the top all the way and it comes out. But how I said, I broke a few of them, but I thought ahead of time, I bought 40 of them ahead of time. So, but here's one more time without it. You see, this is on all, all my lights. And watch, here's the old one. See how, see how ripped it was? And here's the new one. Here's the new one, look at that. All right, let's put it on, baby. As you guys can see, look, I have a whole bag of these. Honestly, they're not the same as like the ones I got, but if you guys are like trying to look for them and have the same problem, these, these are it. They're similar. They're similar to the ones I that the car has on, but these will get the job done. So, GM Fender Liner Push Rivets. And if you guys are trying to look for the code, it's 961367D. That's, that's the code if you guys are trying to get it. Here's more information. But these are the ones similar to the one that it has. If you guys broke them, so get these. As you guys can see, this is the driver's side. See, it's all good. Except when it gets right there, you see? It's all all gone but we'll fix it i don't know if you guys can actually see it so i don't know if you guys can see it i already, I already put on the new one 
As you guys can see, look, I'm gonna give you guys a better close up. So, look. That's the new one right there. So, that's the new one. So, because how I did swap the bumper, I had to order this one. So, but I forgot to get the little vent. Cause it doesn't match because this bottom one this bottom piece right here it's from the old one you know and it's obviously a higher one so i'm gonna just i'm gonna order a vent and just cover this up right here and make like a little like little holes into there so it could go down there so basically this is it's just like for the air for the dust like brake dust that's where all, where it goes but that's it guys this is what i did the only thing i did i, I, I just so basically the only thing I did I I put it I only put the ones on the corners on the sides I mean all the way around except the one in the middle I don't know if you guys can see it that one that was the first one I put so it could hold it up and that's the first one I put and from there I just put all just I just put the ones around it doesn't really need like the necessary ones like in the middle and stuff like that like look this is like it's really sturdy so that's how you guys take it off and that's how you put on the new one same thing if the other ones if the other ones ripped and everything you do the same thing take off the wheels and everything and that's how you change it guys so i hope you guys did enjoy that little video on changing the inner wheel well so if you guys did enjoy make sure you guys do drop a like if you guys like videos like this make sure to also drop a like and subscribe turn on notifications so yeah guys it's been your boy luis signing out peace